Okay, so the we are looking at secretary, but we remember we've done one already. So we've looked at where we I said that there are about nine theories, and we looked at six. So let's do a quick recap so that we I think we not in other form. We made mention of this law that if this is the diameter, the angle it makes here is 90 degrees. We also made mention of this law that if I have a cord, it meets the center, it also touches at the circumference, the angle it makes at the circumference, twice that is the one at the center. And we also made mention of if I have a cord that meets the, set, the circumference at different points, it makes the same angle. So if I have x, y, z, x is equal to y equal to z. And we also said that if you have something like this, and you have this chord, and I have also say this chord, this and this are equal, I have A and I have B, we say that A is equal to B. And we also say, said that if I have something like this, and I have this, this, and this, and this, say there is a chord here. There is A, there is B here. We say that A plus B should be equal to 180 degrees. And we also looked at tangents. So, tangents and we looked at something like, say, the word is the tangent and this is A. We say that here is also what? A. Okay, so we look at the other three. So, this is a quick. Recap, we look at the other three theorems. So, the seventh one is not that different from the other one. So, the seventh, we have something like this. I have a, this inside a circle. I have A, B, C, and D. Where this is like a cyclic quadrilateral. Cyclic quadrilateral. So we say the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. So that is the they add up to 180. So it's similar to that of this one that we did. So like something like this. Where the A and the B were summing up to 180. So this one is always saying that. A plus B should be equal to 180 degrees, and C plus D should also be equal to what? 180 degrees. Okay, that's the rule 7. And we also have rule 8. Rule 8 is, I think that I have this. I have the center of the circle, so this is the diameter, and I have something like this. This is equal to this, and I have A, I have B here. You say that so equal courts or acts substance the same angles at the center of so equal courts. This is equal or acts. So at the center of the circle, the circle, so A will be equal to B. Then the last one is something like this. I have this and this is the center of the circle. I have this you so we see that when you have to so have a tangent anytime there is a line from the center of the circle meeting a point on the tangent to the circle it makes an angle of 90 degrees so a tangent to a circle makes an angle of 90 degrees to a line drawn from the center to touch the tangent. So it means that here will be 90 degrees. Here will also be 90 degrees. And the second one is that this and this should be equal. The, the lengths of two tangents from a point outside the circle are equal. So that is the ninth rule. So the circle two is about this nine rules which should be in your mind and help you to solve questions.
anytime you are given a question to solve so what matters is that you understand the theorems and you have them in your mind such that you can record them at all times at all times at all times so we we'll try and take only one example only one example and then we we can solve other examples so look let's look at this a question like It is not drawn to scale. <laughs> not drawn to scale, please. Okay, assuming that I say this is x and this is say 104. I say this is P, Q, R, and S. And we ask you to find the value of x what comes to mind what comes to mind so i'll give you like 30 seconds to think about you you, you should you should act fast or basically think fast it's a short way it's, it's simple you can do it quick 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 one quick one okay so i think with this one when students see this they may be tempted to think this plus this gives you an it but until the question says this part is a rhombus don't be thinking that this plus this will give you one it you always say this and this are the same until the question says so okay. the question didn't say this 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 p c r q is a rhombus so what you do is you can assume you can assume this is a this is the arc so you have p r you have period. people staying around and making noise and the noise is in the video please forgive me so this is pr so the pr is a chord so we can look at this and this which who do you think you can apply where a plus b was what 180 so you can say angle p s r plus angle p q r equal to what 180 so i'll say angle p s r is equal to one eight plus one zero four. I'm using that because when I'm able to get here, I can get here because this is the court meeting at the cent center and the circumference. So when I get here, I'll just double that value to get here. So one zero four degrees equal to what? One eighty degrees. So now PSR becomes one eighty degrees minus one zero four degrees. So I'm going to PSR will be equal to seventy six degrees. But according to the theorems, angle PCR is twice angle PS what R. And that is the X. So it means that X is equal to 2 times what? 76, which gives me 152 degrees. So that will be the value of X. This is a simple question as compared to the first video that we had a question that uh, was a bit tricky. Let's take another very simple question. Another very simple question, and then we. And circle term, you don't have calculated tricks. So if you are waiting to see calculated tricks on circle term, unless they move a different calculator whereby you can sketch a circle <laughs> on your calculator. Yeah, so let's look at this circle two. There's a very simple one. Remember, your teachers will always solve the easy questions with you. And then they will leave you to solve the hard questions. So don't think that if you are able to solve this, means you can, uh, you are you are good to go. Please go and try other examples. So let's look at this. You have x here. And let's say I uh, let's assume this is forty, and I have uh, p q r s, and this let's say is the center which is o. And I ask you to find X. What comes to mind? This is very simple. Quick one. This is very, very simple. This is very, very simple. This is very, very simple.
So what comes to mind? What comes to mind? It's a simple, it's a simple, 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 simple. <laughs> simple but not simple. Eh? Simple but not simple. Okay, so maybe you are, you are racking your brain. You are, you are thinking, thinking, thinking. This is the center. So, but you see, I didn't. This is the center, and yes, but, but you cannot. If this is the center, then from here to here is a radius, true or false? From here to here is also a radius. So, means that, but even x is the same as x here. Because it's the same code, meeting at different. So, x is the same as x here. Yeah. Okay, so if this is the radius, but now let's look at this. Focus on this. That's why I said the secretary you can be turning your, your paper around. This is also a chord. Uh, you can have something like I said that you can have a chord that meets at the center and also at the circumference. If here is a, here we want to a. This one can be also drawn as. Look at it carefully. I draw this. This is the center, all right. But I can intentionally extend this to meet at the circumference of the circle. So if this is A, it means that here we have two A. So you see, but if I'm not careful, you may not see it. So this is similar. This is a similar one. This is the center. So this is a, so it means that this is making something like this, making an angle of 40 years. So it means that twice of 40 will be here. So two times 40 will give me angle S O R S O R so 80 will be equal to angle what S O R now I want to find X if here is now 80 and this and this are the same I just this triangle the base angles are what the same so it means that here will also be what X so I'll have something like this 80 and here is X means that here will also be what X so I have 80 plus x plus x. Sum of interior angles of a triangle is what? 180 degrees. So I have 80 plus 2x is equal to what? 180 degrees. I'll have 2x is equal to 180 degrees minus 80. 2x will be equal to what? 100 degrees. I'll divide through by 2. I'll have x is equal to 50 degrees. I have x is equal to 50 degrees. So, you see, it's a when the diagram is there, it looks easy. But if you don't, I don't know if you're not able to see that A. So, this, is a, this, are, this and this are the same. This is the center. Okay, so that's where the confusion comes in. So, you may have all the theories in mind, but you may be struggling to identify which theory is being or is necessary to use in a particular question. So anyways, you have to pray to that God will open your eyes to see clearly all the theorems that you are supposed to apply. Because if you don't know the theorems and you have, if you don't know the theorems you apply, you may know all the nine theorems, but if you don't know which particular one to apply, you'll be there and the question may be a very simple one. And you, you'll, be there, you'll be sweating, even when air condition or there is the room is very cold, you'll be sweating. So just pray and everything, take God serious. Because God can also help you to understand whatever we are doing and be able to score higher marks. So this brings us to the end of the circuit. So if you have not subscribed yet, can you do so? Watch out for the next video. Watch out for the next video. We may be looking at quadratic graph or let's say trigonometric graph for and the